Hey everyone, Kanika Lal here with MEA Worldwide, celebrating 40 years of MOCA, that's Museum of Contemporary Arts in downtown LA. We're about to talk to Keegan Allen, James Marsden, Charlie Carver, many artists and more, so stay tuned. Well, okay, first of all, you're performing today? I didn't actually know that part. I didn't know either, actually. <laughs> uh, no, but it's really exciting. I, I, I'm, you know. Are you going to play the guitar? Or? Well, I'm going to play piano this time. I played, I played with Patti Smith. Uh, I played Imagine with Patti in New York uh, in 2015 or 14. And so Klaus just called me and was like, hey, can, can you play piano? I was like, yeah. But I didn't, I didn't know it was, it was such a big event. I'm, uh, I know. Yeah. In this event that we're celebrating yeah. like true art you know what I mean true art with true artists and uh, and Klaus is is probably you know one of the most prolific artists of our generation and the way that he sees things and is able to pull everything together and bring artists to a place where they can create like this is just so amazing and what this museum has done yeah. and this foundation yeah well, you know, this museum started with a partnership with the city of Los Angeles. Up on Bunker Hill, we used the negotiating power we had when a new building was being built, and we actually were able to get MOCA started. So today, I serve on the board, our city council president serves on the board, and it's really a partnership with the most amazing artistic city in the world and City Hall, which is, to me, the best of both worlds. All right, well, you're on the board for the, for the museum. Talk to me about the fact that we're celebrating 40 years. I mean, go art, you know, like true contemporary art. Talk to me about that. You know, it's a great milestone. It's also such an exciting milestone because of Klaus. You know, we've had this fresh energy and his ideas and his personality and his brain are everything we needed. We have so much to be proud of and such an unbelievable collection. And now we have a team to put the pieces in place to move forward in the way that we can and should be. And I've been hearing tonight just about the fact that how LA has like kind of woken up to the art scene and how much it's changed. So what can you guys say to that today, given the fact that art has like gone through so many phases and you guys, you know, you work in music, so that's a, that's a new way of art. So I'd love to hear more about that and how you like to see it change. I know it's kind of two questions in one, but... You know, we both want to see it. We want it to be accessible. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, it's an amazing thing to see the greatest piece of art in the world, but it's important that the next generation of kids uh, have an opportunity to see it as well. And I think the work that the board is doing, my wife is doing, makes me incredibly proud because her passion is to make sure that everyone gets exposed to the arts, whether it be in school or museum visits, in every single way. And uh, and I'm, I'm proud to be here with her. I'm her date. Um, well, first of all, uh, we're here at MOCA celebrating art, does art. So tell me about your connection with that, besides being an actor, obviously. You know, I, I was an art history major in college. I've have a lot of family that works in art in the art world as artists and a couple friends who have somehow been acquired by the museum so this museum I've lived in LA for 12 years and I come here all the time I think especially the Geffen Contemporary is like this you know exhibition space is just so crucial to the city as you know part of its identity and just its lifeblood so tell me, um, obviously we're here celebrating art, celebrating this museum, celebrating people who service this museum. Tell me about your personal connection, though, if you don't mind. Uh, uh, my husband is an oil painter, um, so we are very involved in uh, supporting the arts and participating, and uh, it's, just, it's his world, so I'm a, I'm a visitor. I wave. <laughs> You're a visitor, but you could also be his muse. I'm not sure how perhaps, he works. Perhaps. But, um, Observing that, you know, throughout your marriage, what yeah. can you say about his, his artwork and I guess like how he puts his spin on it and maybe your relationship into it? I'm sure there's a lot that goes into it. So. Well, I think being in a house, I'm very grateful that my husband is a, an artist and not in my business because having two different versions of being creative is really helpful that yeah. we're not dealing with the same exact problems <laughs> but as creative people we do share certain struggles um, and part of that is like when you're not doing enough it, you can lose your mind um, and when you are doing something it's all-encompassing so because we really understand those ry rhythms about each other it really helps I hope you guys learned a little something felt inspired by tonight's carpet you got a lot of cool interviews um, for any artists out there thank you for your contribution honestly here with MEA Worldwide I'll see you guys soon.